the 22nd of December, I believe. I look great this morning, don't I? I actually have to wash my hair. It's so oily. That's why it's up. I look like that girl from American Horror Story with just like the bun on her head and no hair. Anyway, so but I'm about to light this beautiful candle I showed it in my kmart haul ages ago um but it's the christmas cookie candle and i got this at kmart oh my god it's actually incredible i can never light it on the first go once i burnt my hair lighting a candle which was great anyway so a couple of last minute presents came so i'm gonna wrap those um just do some tidying up and then i'm gonna have a bath i think scrub some of my tan off and then i'm gonna put on a new tan tomorrow because oh my god thursday is christmas eve and i work thursday so i'm not gonna have time to do any of that so i'm gonna have to do it all tomorrow <laughs> so i'm gonna do like skincare and stuff today as usual yeah so that's my morning i'll talk to you a bit later when i hopefully look a bit better um and i'll just show you my room and things nothing major also how cute is my little christmas setup nothing spectacular hello it is the same day <laughs> um i got roped into going into the shops it was crazy because obviously it's like right near christmas time kids are off school and everything so it was so busy but got back started to rain really heavily now which is good that we're back. <laughs> but I just made the Gigi Hadid pasta and oh my god. I'm obsessed. I've had this like three times this week. And dude, I'm starving. So I'm going to sit here and eat this. And watch some more YouTube. So that's me for now. Hello. This is the angle <laughs> that we're going to have to deal with for this morning. Um, it has been... A very long time since I filmed the last clips that you guys saw at the start of this vlog. Um, it is now 2021. It's actually the 12th of January to be specific. And I've really missed filming and like just vlogging like for myself. Um, and I really just wanted to get back into some type of thing. Um, some type of routine because I kind of let myself go a little bit which I'm sure a lot of people have, but it's time to get back into it. I spent the morning planning my day, so I have a bit of, you know, structure, and I think that helps me a lot. So I literally just made, like, a schedule of the morning, mid-morning, afternoon, and, like, later on this evening. Um, so I'm really happy about that, because now, like, I have, like, all my thoughts and what I have to do on paper. It's not in my head, and I thrive on planning so yeah my main things for today are working out which i'm going to do very soon another thing i want to do is to like sort out my bank cards and have more of like a limit on like what i'm spending because i've dropped hours um at work so i'm not getting as much work as i was before and I'm finding that a bit hard to deal with budget and everything and like kind of plan. Like I said before, I thrive on planning. So having everything out and done and like on paper and, you know, really helps my brain because I am a freak. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to get changed into some active wear and then go downstairs. Probably just go on the treadmill for a bit and then make some breakfast. I'll show you my breakfast. It's literally the same as always, really. It's actually really cold this morning. It was 36 yesterday or something crazy like that. I was at work the whole day. Um, and this morning, it's so gloomy. Like, this is what it looks like outside. And I'm pretty sure it's meant to rain. So, awesome. I literally look like a homeless person right now. Hi! <laughs> so I'm all done with my workout now. It is 8.21. Uh, I just made myself some breakfast. So I've got... Oh, excuse my bra. I've got an iced coffee and I've just got some oats. Um, these aren't always protein powder. I've got oats, strawberries, a fiber one bar, granola, 
um, and maple syrup and like powdered protein peanut butter. Um, I'm running out of my protein powder, so I thought I don't really have to add it into my oats every morning. Um, so I added the powdered protein peanut butter for a bit of protein. And then the iced coffee is just the Avalanche 99% sugar-free cappuccino sachet with um, water, almond milk, and like a little bit of caramel syrup. So yeah, I'm going to sit here, enjoy this, and watch... The rest of Jazz Hand's vlog, her birthday vlog. So, yeah, I'm gonna do this and then um, I'm gonna get myself ready to go to the shops and then get that over and done with so I can come home and just really get stuck into everything that I need to do here. So, yeah, goodbye. Excuse my hair and how frizzy it probably looks. What the heck? Um, I had a shower and washed my hair and I just have to go. And like smooth it out and blow dry it um but i made another coffee and i'm having a, another fiber one but i used the salted caramel like cake bar one in my oats this morning so i'm just having this um milk chocolate popcorn bar one and yeah it's like it's 11 35 i was like oh maybe i'll just hold off until lunch but i thought this would like time me over to like 1 30 maybe and then um, I can have lunch or like one o'clock and then I'll have lunch because I'm a bit hungry and I find that when I'm hungry, I'll like eat more and like want more at lunchtime. Um, so this is just a good way for me to like balance it out. I am currently burning this insane candle. It is the, uh, what is it? The Cinnamon Churro one by Yankee Candle. And they started selling them at Woolworths, like some of them, like not all of them. There's not a big range. But yeah, my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas. So I've been lighting that. Um, and I'm just chilling out. I went and posted some shoes before. And nothing else exciting has been happening, to be honest. So yeah, goodbye. Good morning. Wow, I look green. I look green. Um, ignore that. I'm about to go wash this fake tan off anyway. I need to go wash my face. Um, I think I put a, I think I put a bit too much tan on my face this time, but like, does it look that bad? Probably. Anyway, I just got out of bed. I've been up since like 5:30. Yay! Even though I didn't have to be up until like now, which is like 7:50. Um, but that's just how my body works. My body clock, which is awesome. Yesterday. The last thing you saw was me having breakfast, which I'm actually about to like go do now again. So it's the next day. Um, yesterday, what did I do? After my breakfast, all I did was clean my room, have a shower, um, put all my clothes away. There were so many clothes to put away. Um, vacuumed my room and then I scrubbed my tan off, <laughs> um, did like epilated my legs. And then I sat down for like six hours and did some of my digital marketing course, um, which I only have until April to do. I let it go so badly. I've had three years to do this. It's like an online course. Um, and yeah, I started in 2018 and I was like, yeah, like this is when I didn't really have like a stable job or anything. Um, so once I started my job, which was like the end of 2018, I just kind of neglected the course. Um, but I smashed out a few like... A good few assignments before I did that and then as sporadically I started to do some more when I realized oh my god like it's coming up to like the end like I want to be able to like finish it um, and then I stopped for a bit more and then I started doing it again yesterday um, so I finished an assignment yesterday and I think I only have three more to go but I have to do them all before April which in theory I can do but like actually physically doing it <laughs> I'm not that motivated to be honest but I'm sure I'll do it and I'm sure it'll be fine hopefully I really hope like sometimes with online learning because you like aren't able to ask questions right there and then like I know you can email and everything but if you want something done like then it's like instant so I didn't like really ask too many questions um even though I was a bit stuck on some things but hopefully that's okay and yeah it's all fine anyway I have work today at 10 um which is why I'm up and I'm going to go shower this 
tan off um moisturize i don't know why i get this like little line on my nose every time i fake tan it might just be like a really dry patch but no matter how much i cleanse and like exfoliate that area i just always end up getting it so yeah if you guys get it too let me know um yeah let's go get ready i slept in this sleeping bag yesterday it's like a tanning sleeping bag it's just from cotton on pretty sure like bondi sands and um other brands do it but jesus christ i sweat so much in that it's like made out of polyester i'm pretty sure so that's probably why but <laughs> it's good at not getting tan on your sheets which i am infamous for doing i'm gonna go shower now and i'll get back to you probably tomorrow because <laughs> i work all day today basically so yeah this is my plant by the way it's thriving i love it good morning it is friday morning now um had work yesterday came home literally just started making dinner as soon as i got home um and then did like nothing we have started watching the crown i don't know if i had mentioned that before um but i really like it so far it's just interesting because i like have no idea about the royal family like um obviously like a vague idea but like nothing in depth so yeah i decided i'm gonna head to the shops today um don't know if i'm gonna buy anything but i am going out tomorrow night and look i have a really bad habit of buying stuff for every single event that i'm going to even if it's not something big which is awful i have a really bad <laughs> pain in my chest um because i was like hunched over like this <laughs> watching tiktok before so i think that's why um i'm in my pajamas still it's actually 10 o'clock i didn't exercise today i went back to sleep when my boyfriend went to work because it was like six o'clock and i was like i'm dead i'm tired and dead to the world so um i went back to sleep until like 7 30 stayed in bed got out of bed had breakfast it was just porridge um and yeah i made some pasta last night and some like roast potatoes and stuff so i'm probably gonna have the pasta for lunch today um and yeah i'm just gonna head to the shops just to browse i'm not like going with the intention of buying anything especially if it's like expensive <laughs> obviously um but i just want to get out of the house even if it's just to go to the shops so that's what i'm gonna do it's really crappy weather again today it's really gloomy um and i'm pretty sure it's meant to rain like the whole day so awesome i've also got to clean my room when i come home as well I have to wash my hair even though i washed it a couple of days ago my schedule never lines up so i washed it tuesday and then up um i washed it tuesday and it's now friday and i could leave it another day but i'm sure i'll wake up tomorrow and it'll be oily and then i can't like style it properly when it's just freshly washed so that is why i'm going to wash it today if you wanted to know hello sorry about the fugly lighting but my bed's not made and everything looks disgusting in my room at the moment so i just got back from the shops and i thought i'd show you what i picked up so went into kmart bought nothing hope you guys are proud of me because it was becoming awful the amount of money i would spend at kmart so i went into ali um i don't know if that's like anywhere else except for australia and maybe new zealand but it's just like a little shop <laughs> for clothes um and i got this little top and I thought it was really cute. Um, I never wear singlet tops, especially ones with like these thin straps. But this one is actually quite cute. And I think if I wear the right bra, like a strapless bra, I'd be able to wear it. It was only $8. So I really love the colour as well. And I thought I could probably make it work. If not, it was $8. It's okay. Next, went to La Vista. I haven't gone there in a long time but i had a voucher from like a couple years ago to spend from there and i didn't want it to like go to waste so i picked up a few things first thing i got was this ring there can you see it it's kind of like a knockoff versace i think like type of ring 
So I got that one. These were all part of like five for 13 or something. I got this ring here, which is kind of similar, but yeah, it sort of looks like on. <laughs> but it was quite cute. I needed more gold rings, so that's why. Um, and then I got this. I'm pretty sure I've had this like exact ring from there before but it's really cute because it looks like it's stacked so you can either wear it like this or it has like a little triangle which I guess you're meant to wear like that but I don't really like it like that so I got that one too and then I got two pairs of earrings I got these that kind of match the other ring can you see that And then I got these as well. And they're gold too. So that's all I got. So now I'm going to... What am I going to do? Probably have a shower, clean my room, have lunch, and then see where the day takes me.